There are several ways to change the pivot placement inside Unreal Engine. In this video, I'm gonna quickly go over all of them. So let's do it. The first method is changing the pivot within the modeling tools. Up here, click on selection mode and select modeling. The shortcut is shift and five. If you don't have the modeling option, then go to settings, plugins, here search for modeling tools and make sure modeling tools editor mode is turned on. So I'll press shift and five to go to modeling mode. The modeling tab will open here. Select the mesh, then under X form, select edit pivot. Now I can freely move and rotate the pivot. If we don't see the gizmo, it means that the pivot is somewhere else outside of the mesh. Look around to find it. Or select the center preset here to automatically reposition it. If I hold control on the keyboard while moving or rotating the pivot, it snaps to surfaces. The circle and the X indicate where it's snapping to. We can also use the transform panel over here for precise translation and rotation. When delta mode is enabled, the gizmo values are interpreted as changes relative to the last gizmo position. So if I want to move the pivot exactly 10 cm in the X direction, this is what I should enable. Also, we can easily click and drag to move it around in case we need to. Now let's go over the settings over here. We want it to apply to all LODs and we don't need snap dragging. If it's enabled, we can left click and drag on any asset in the scene and the pivot snaps to the surface of that asset. We can control the rotation of the pivot with the rotation mode options. These box positions down here are the shortcuts we work with most of the time. Using them, I can quickly move the pivot around the bounding box of the object. By default, they use the object space bounding box. It means that if I rotate it, this is what happens. If using world box is enabled, then this is what happens. It's because the world space bounding box is being used. So let's reset the rotation and set the pivot to center. After we're done with it, click on accept and the new pivot is baked on the object. It means that the source mesh in the content browser is edited and the asterisk here is the indication of that. Now wherever I use this object, the pivot point is changed. If we select multiple meshes and change the pivot point with this method, it gives us one pivot point for all of them based on the bounding box of the selection. So it's better to edit them one by one. Before using this method, there's something important you should keep in mind. Let's press Ctrl Z to bring the pivot to its original position. When the pivot is baked to the source mesh, it affects all of its instances in the scene. If the object is already duplicated around the level and you change the pivot with this method, all the assets will move. That's not good. So we should use this method before duplicating the asset around the level. But what if we've been handed a level that someone else has already worked on? Or what if we want to work on one of our old projects that has a lot of bad pivots? Fortunately, there's a way to change the pivot per actor in the level. Let's see how we can do that. Before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. Right click on the actor, under pivot, we have these options to change the pivot point in the level. They don't affect the source static mesh, they just change the pivot of this actor. If we hover the mouse on top of each option, the tooltip tells us what it does. For example, I can right click here and select set pivot offset here and the pivot moves to where I right clicked. If I deselect and select the actor again, I'll see that the pivot has moved to the original location. To keep that from happening, after selecting set 
pivot offset here we should right click again and select set as pivot offset now the pivot point won't move just for clarification set pivot offset here snapping is the same as set pivot offset here but it snaps the pivot to the nearest grid point i can also move the mouse cursor on this white sphere where all the axes intersect then hold the middle mouse button and drag it to move the pivot if the cursor is anywhere else we pan around the viewport but when it's here we can move the pivot after that we can right click and select set as pivot offset and now the pivot is there if we want to move the pivot along one of these axes we should move the mouse cursor on that axis then hold both the middle mouse button and the alt key on the keyboard together now we can move the pivot along that axis One other way to change the pivot location is to hold alt on the keyboard and then middle click anywhere you want the pivot to be. For example here, here, here or here. The pivot moves there. Again right click and select set as pivot offset. We can access the same settings from the actor menu on the top under pivot. Center to selection moves the pivot to the center bottom of the selection whether it is one actor or multiple actors. The good thing about this approach is that it's non-destructive, meaning it won't affect the other instances in the level. And it's not limited only to static mesh actors, we can do it for other actors such as lights or volumes too. When the actor is selected, we can search for pivot in the details tab. It will show us the exact pivot offset value on each axis. At any time, if we decide to return the pivot to its original place, we can set this to zero. We can also right click or use the actor menu and select reset pivot offset and the pivot returns to its original place. We can choose one of these methods based on our needs. The good thing is that we don't need to go through editing the pivot in our DCC software and re-importing the asset. So click here for more Unreal stuff. And thank you so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe and join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So see you in the next one.